today we will be backing up our phone to our Google Drive account. Okay, today we're going to briefly cover uh, backing up your phone to Google. First, we're going to start off at the settings and we're going to look for backup. Different phones, it may be listed differently. On this phone, it's listed with the accounts and backup. Um, so we're going to hit that. And then um, we're going to hit backup data. So you see it can, it can back up to the Samsung Cloud right and you can restore data from the samsung cloud but it also mentions google drive we want to use google drive there are also other apps that samsung has to help you to back up your phone uh quickly but i'll do another video where we'll discuss that okay so um, certain things are automatically backed up in your google account such as your videos and photos but you can choose to uh, have it back up your entire phone, including your apps, your uh, settings within those apps, your messages, call history, um, and such. So if you want all of that backed up, you have to uh, go to backup and set it up. Uh, you want to set it up to automatically back up. Now, if your phone is set to back up, it will back up automatically occasionally when it is plugged in charging and the screen is locked over Wi-Fi. But you can choose to back up on your own manually by hitting the backup now. Then it will take you where it will get ready to start syncing for the backup, right? Sometimes before it starts, it may ask you to enter your screen lock code uh, for your phone. And then you'll have to uh, enter that code before the process begins. But once it's backed up, and let's say if you lose your phone or you get a new phone, you can uh, use your Google account to restore your phone or to put all the information onto your new phone uh, that was backed up from the old phone. That way you don't lose much. There may be some uh, minor things lost in the process, but you will basically have access to pretty much most of your stuff. Also, all your documents and stuff, I always suggest actually uh, storing most of that stuff in the cloud anyway. Uh, by cloud, I mean um, on your Google Drive. Um, and then you just allow everything um, to get backed up. Once everything is backed up, it will show down here, like which items that you have backed up and how much data it's actually taken to back up those items. Some things such as, um, Photos and videos on this one, it's showing, and the messages is showing no data backed up because on this particular phone, I don't have an active SIM card, so there are actually no uh, messages and stuff in there, nor have I uh, taken, you know, photos and videos with this particular phone other than uh, what I'm doing here with the screen recording. So it'll let you know uh, that your backup is there. You will also be able to go into your uh, Google Drive and you can see those backups. However, um, when you're setting up your phone, it will ask you options as to how you want to restore the phone. And we will uh, do a video on that as well. Once everything is backed up, it will show down here, like which items that you have backed up and how much data it's actually taken to back up those items. Some things such as um, photos and videos on this one, it's showing and the messages is showing no data backed up because on this particular phone, I don't have an active SIM card, so there are actually no uh, messages and stuff in there, nor have I 
uh, taking, you know, photos and videos with this particular phone other than uh, what I'm doing here with the screen recording. So it'll let you know uh, that your backup is there. You will also be able to go into your uh, Google Drive and you can see those backups. However, um, when you're setting up your phone, it will ask you options as to how you want to restore the phone. And we will uh, do a video on that as well.